right, welcome back to Houston Life. Our next guest is a local actor with a long career in television and film. He's worked alongside stars like Woody Harrelson and Robin Williams. Yeah, his latest project is a family-friendly film screening right now at several Star Cinema Grill locations. It's called Old Man Jackson. It was shot right here in Houston, Pearland to be specific, with local talent both in front of and behind the camera. David, welcome to Houston Life. It's great to meet you. In oh. person. Seems like I've seen him for so long. <laughs> In but, so many different projects. Yeah, it's one of those things. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here for you guys and I uh, hope we can get some uh, word out there about old man Jackson. And yeah, what's going you, on. you grew up here? Yes, I am. I'm a native Houstonian. Uh, uh, I, I, my parents were born here. I went to Sam Houston High School and graduated from University of Houston School of Theater. And uh, Nice. Yeah, when did you start acting? I started acting in, in high school, actually. I, I, I got bit by the drama bug my senior year. Out of the blue, I was going to be an AC mechanic, and then I took a drama class and went, boy, I'm glad I didn't take that air conditioning <laughs> career. <laughs> that is quite, quite a shift. And uh, I read that your first professional acting gig was in 1985, just a, a few minutes ago, right? And since then, you've racked up more than 90 credits. Wow. Uh, yeah. Television, film, and these were a lot of shows that our viewers have seen. Yeah, yeah, you know, I've been real lucky. I've been blessed to have Pastor Ernie Bosby talent who's represented me for 30 years. And so we've created a good niche here in the, in the Texas, Louisiana, and Oklahoma market. So I've been able to work from New Mexico all the way to Georgia. You always hear there's a lot of, a lot of business, especially in Texas, for actors. And a lot of films come here. Why is that, do you think? Uh, the films are coming here uh, in the past because we have so many great locations, right? Ah. We, can, we can put a backdrop for many different locations and towns and cities. But, you know, we, uh, we lost our film incentives for a while, but we just got our film incentives increased, so that's a good deal. That's excellent. And so we're hoping for more projects to come back so uh, we can get more films like Old Man Jackson and more local projects. On tell, the tell us about that. I don't know much about Old Man Jackson. Tell us about that. Old Man Jackson is a, a family-friendly film uh, that I star in. Uh, it's written, produced, and directed by Johnny Ray Gibbs, who is a, a local guy who came up with this idea. <laughs> That's you. Yeah, four years ago, <laughs> and there I am, old man Jackson. He's a hypochondriac guy that it, it wakes up and is trying to find the meaning of life. Uh, it is comedy. It is PG rated. It follows a series of unfortunate events that happen to uh, Andy Jackson and how he finds acceptance in the world, and it's all fun. We have a-list actors we brought in, and we have a cast of 40 local actors in it as well. It looks, it That's looks hysterical like looking. a lot of fun. So some of your films also include The Highwaymen on Netflix, The Duel star starring Woody Harrelson, yeah. Texas Chainsaw 3D. Mm -hmm. It goes on and on and on. And you were just telling Frank and me during commercial break, uh, Twister, which is a film we all knew and loved way back in the day, you're working on Twisters, which is the continuation of the story? Yes, yes. We're not really calling it a sequel. Uh, at Twisters, we're calling it a continuance of the original original Twister, it's 30 years later, people are still chasing, but things have changed. We have tons of teams that are going after each other in competition, and I uh, play a character who I can say uh, finances one of those teams for Jeremy Ramos and David Corns. Are you an evil guy in this one? No, I, I'm just serving a, a purpose. I'm just, oh, he's an I'm evil guy. Giving, no, I know my nice guy. <laughs> we'll have to come and find out, but it's going to be great. Uh, there may be a, a, a tie to one of the uh, previous actors in the movie. It's, it's very possible, but uh, we've been real tight lipped about it and but so uh, who's gonna producing love this uh, steven spielberg this is a spielberg never film? heard of him yeah. this guy named unbelievable that has a budget with it doesn't it it's a big one about 200 million on this oh my one. gosh That's they... <laughs> this is gonna be great do you need a weather consultant i know i, I mean i can tell y'all which way a twister you goes. could go on what? set and do that thing you do i remember Frank. the first draw time. well with the first twister a lot of us were saying that's impractical and then we found out it's very practical well, and yeah. now with global warming and all of the climate change and the twi I mean the twisters that are really going crazy across right, the country. Right, right. This is I mean not just a, an idea. I mean this is really going to be good stuff. And it's significant. They're still trying to find a way to get early warning systems for yes. tornadoes and save lives. So uh, it's about the drama and how it's continued and. Uh, uh, people are going to love it. It's going to be great. We have it, an incredible cast. You're uh, doing it right now? Yeah, yeah. In production right now. In production right now. It's supposed to come back and shoot in a couple weeks. We'll see what happens. Super cool. Can you yeah. tell us who the cameo is? Is it Helen Hunt? Uh, <laughs> can you tell us who it is? Because it's Helen Hunt. It, you never know. It could be a blonde person. <laughs> can you give us a hint? Is it Helen Hunt? <laughs> um, no. <laughs> okay. So going back to Old Man Jackson, and we're going to tell our viewers where they can screen this film tonight and tomorrow. Primarily, you did uh, production in Pearland, but you shot all over the city, right? Yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, uh, it's supposed to just doing all my work in Oklahoma. We shot Old Man Jackson in Pearland, Galveston, Houston, Montrose, River Oaks. Um, all surrounding areas, you're going to locate, uh, see a lot of our locations that we used. We, we had some incredible people that were generous for us in the city of Houston, 
and the city of Pearland. And uh, you know, we just we couldn't have done it with, without the support of our our, our local friends. Uh, How long did it take to shoot this? We worked on this movie, Frank, for 18 months. Wow! It was uh, it a was, long time. It was a project of passion because of budgets and restraints and conflicts, and you know, when we could get the actors to come in. So that was the challenge for me yeah. as the as the lead in it, is you know, picking up and keeping it moving without dragging. And I think we did it. It's it's fun. It's family friendly. You don't see many films like this anymore. And you're the star. And I'm the star. I mean, you've been the character actor for so long, and this is your this is your big starring role. Oh yeah, I mean, y'all. Congratulations. Well, thank you. Six years at the Alley Theater as a contract actor, and I got the Martin Scorsese film coming out later this year, October 6. But in the meantime, we're like, let's push Old Man Jackson. Our budget's not as big as theirs. No. It's Scorsese <laughs> and Spielberg, but, but you know what? You were close. You're close. We're getting there. <laughs> Connie Ray Gibbs is real close there. We're getting real close to Gibbs Productions. Man. 32 years uh, you have been married, and despite all your success in Hollywood. Uh, Houston remains home for you. You have two grown children. Yeah. For you to be able to bring your talent back home and to work on a film like Old Man Jackson, you're hiring local actors, you're working with local crew. Mm -hmm. I know, again, it's a labor of love uh, on a shoestring budget, and it took a long time, yeah. but that had to have great meaning for you. Oh, it absolutely does, you know, and, and my kids are real supportive. They, they actually put me on tape for a lot of these jobs I book out of my living room. Uh, but they, they're helping with advice and help me with script ideas and help me rehearse it so uh, they're excited as, as much about it as I am. Extra eyes always help. It does. That's it does. great. It does, man. It does. It well, does. David, it's so nice meeting you. Congrats on all your success. And uh, when Twisters, the uh, not sequel, but the continuation of I'll be at the Twister, I'll be at the beginning of it, the very first show in Houston. I'm going to be at that. <laughs> yes. Well, and if you need a weather consultant for the film, you know who to call. <clears throat> the man with the plan right here. Man. Ready. Yo, yo. <laughs> David Warren, thank you so much. A lot of people say you look like Robin Williams as well. I can definitely see the resemblance. Oh, yeah. Old Man Jackson is available for viewing at Select Star Cinema. Grill locations. There's a 7.20 p.m. screening tonight, July 11th, at Baybrook Mall, and another show tomorrow, July 12th, at 4.05 p.m. at Star Cinema Grill in Richmond. For more info, you can visit our website, HoustonLife.tv. Just look for that scene on Houston Life section. That's a great cinema grill in Richmond, by the way. It's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, it's terrific. It's great like place. all pods. for yes. It's so comfortable. It's love Star Cinema Grill. We can't thank them enough. Yeah, they're terrific.